hello so here the third video in conversion for the RDMID and here I will talk mostly over the OOPs so if you see right now the interface and the methods are not enabled so let's go and first enable all these things so the options and we have to check box the object in the one part once we enable it with the first ID and then uh, it will enable the uh, con where we can apply the concept of oops so we can create a new method and uh, here we get not the method and we can define the, uh, as we define for the normal any any program so <coughs> we can define the local variables and everything So we will define some input variables and some local variables uh, uh, for this method. It just a demo program which I am trying to create. It will help me to give a walk through how exactly these methods are getting called. Let me give a basic instruction uh, which we can even see at a later stage. So, just to even input would be more than we can see. Save the program, that is, I think, a must. Now, let's go to the main program and we'll call it so. We have uh, defined the structure and we uh, are trying to call in this method particularly. So we have to define the FB, invoke the FB, and then from the instance of the FB, we will come to uh, get the, uh, the particular methods. And then we need to define our pass the uh, variable which are needed for that method. So that is the basic way, uh, which is pretty good. So it is similar to what we were doing in other uh, ID, mostly in the code system. <coughs> so let me do for the interfaces. So I will create one interface and in the interface we can define a method again. Thing, yeah, we can create uh, another interface and try to implement the interface one. So, how we can do that? We need to actually edit the properties and then we'll get an option uh, uh, whether we want to implement and then we will see the interface one. And once we do that, the interface one is getting implemented in this interface two. I'm just doing uh, all this to just showcase how exactly we can uh, define all the different types concept and uh, how we can actually inherit or extend or implement different data processes or uh, different methods uh, so in different classes so here <coughs> this is uh, another uh, function block which I'm trying to and in there I am trying to implement so we can either implement in one interface or even you can implement uh, a number of interfaces whatever it is there so once we create and when you extend it expand it you will see the different interface options yeah, so you will be seeing all all the methods everything which we have defined in our different interfaces so all those things will come 
so that is uh, pretty good uh, options uh, we have so this photo guide is supporting uh, 